that's not going to work. I'm going to have to come up with something else. Good morning, YouTube. So here we go. We're going to talk about the new Ruger LC9S Pro today. Picked this one up just not too long ago. I have shot it. This isn't the first opening. First things first, you will see that this is a safe firearm. One of the distinguishing features of the Ruger LC9 Pro is that it still has the lever to take the pistol down. It still has your magazine catch. But what they've removed is, is the thumb safety, which in my opinion, I think you should be safe, safe enough to keep your finger out of the trigger well anyway. Otherwise, you don't need to be carrying one. And the other distinguishing feature is that they've removed the magazine disconnect. Now remember, please, this is a safe firearm, okay? But with the magazine disconnect now gone, notice no magazine, the weapon will fire. Takedown is actually pretty simple. You will see there's a little button right here. Take that little button and push it down. Listen for the click. Move your slide back just a little bit. And if I can find my tool here, this little pin comes out. My tool is a toothpick, by the way. And off it comes, right? Separates into just a few pieces. Plunger and spring. Barrel. And then goes back together opposite of what you just took it apart. Now I've learned a trick that if you will take this and put it back together upside down, <laughs> well I said I'd learned a trick, there we go, if you will take this and put it back together upside down, then look how much easier that is. They can be a little bit finicky if you try to do it with the gun in the, the usual carry position. Let me go ahead and put this back together now. And you gotta love dry runs. Because this is going to be problematic now. Because I'm trying really hard to make a video that I can get posted up. And you do come back. Okay. And like I said, we're going to take this, put it together like so. That son of a bitch ain't gonna work. Sometimes you have to be a little patient. Patience is a virtue. There we go. And that eventually slides back in if you have enough patience. But you know, that's a fact of life. Some doesn't always work right the first time. Okay? I went ahead and purchased two additional magazines. I'm not going to lie to you about this one either. This thing only comes with one magazine. And magazines right now are expensive. These little guys were about 35 bucks a piece. And these are actual factory Ruger 7 round mags. I went ahead and put the thumb safety on there, or the thumb catch so that when it's inserted my big ugly goofy looking hands you can actually I have something to wrap my pinky around and you'll notice even sitting here talking right now with the magazine the magazine is loaded there's not around in the chamber still not around in the chamber I didn't have my finger in the trigger guard right no magazine but what this does is, is it gives me, with my fat hands, a place to put my pinky, which I really like, and it makes it a comfortable firearm to shoot that way. I go ahead and I carry a 124 grain 
hollow point as far as personal defense ammunition goes. It's just something I kind of feel like I need to do. I have all of the paperwork that's associated with it. This comes with a nice little book, an instruction book on how to read it. Comes with your dud. Comes with a soft pouch. Comes with a lock. And it comes with this fancy little rubber band that goes around the handle of the firearm. Why, I don't know, but it does. So, anyway, so far I can tell you as far as accuracy and shooting goes, it's been a real good little weapon. Fires well, carries very easily, allow me. Here we go. Right in the pocket. Then when I need it, out it comes. Simple enough. So that is the basic review. Does have the adjustable sights on it, at least for windage anyway. And you can see that it's got the dots, which are very easy. Let me see if I can get this lined up for you. Very easy acquisition sights. Real easy to see when you're shooting it. Has the beveled front end so it moves in and out of your pocket. No real sharp edges. And they've, of course, the S, as you should already know, the S stands for striker fire. They've removed the hammer in here. And as far as I'm concerned, trigger pull has gotten so much better. Now, it's kind of a long trigger pull. Right there, it's going to catch and it's getting ready to go. Okay? The weapon will cycle. And then you can listen for the reset. There it was. That's your reset right there. Okay? I don't really worry about that. That's not something I concern myself with. But for 320 bucks is what I got this one for. It was $340 after tax, plus an additional $70 for magazines. I paid a little extra for personal defense ammunition. It's been a gun that I'm real happy with. So, looks like I've used my 10 minutes up here. So, have a great day. Take care.